What's up guys, it's Drax here. Today I'm gonna show you guys on how to make this orange and black rip shirt black joggers outfit for your male character. And to do this, you're gonna wanna get the black joggers first. So to get the black joggers, pull up your interaction menu, go to services, go to mobile operation center and request your MOC. After you have done that, you can then just hit pause, wait for it to spawn on the map. When your MOC does spawn on the map, then you can just go ahead and head to the back of your MOC. After you do get inside your MOC, you're going to want to go ahead and go to the jobs inside your MOC. So it's going to say access mobile operations. After you are here, go ahead and hit run on the D-pad, log in, and scroll down to the bottom. And we're going to be using the work dispute so we can get the black joggers. So just go ahead and launch this job. And after you do launch this job, you guys will need a friend to help you out. And after you guys have a friend loaded in that can help you out, you can just go ahead and start the job. And for the difficulty, make sure you do set it to easy so then you guys do have more lives. But I'll just get back to you whenever I do load into the job. Once you load into the job, if you guys are the first player, which is the host, you guys will begin the black joggers. But if you're the second player, you're going to be getting the red joggers. Whenever you guys fully load in, just go ahead and head to your apartment. When you do get to your apartment, just letting you guys know, if you guys are new to this, you guys cannot see your apartment on the map, so you will have to remember where your apartment is at. So whenever you are at your apartment, go ahead and walk up to the blue circle, and you're going to want to go ahead and blow yourself up. You can use a rocket or a sticky bomb. So whenever, once you're in the blue circle, just blow yourself up. And after you do load back into the session, go ahead and just walk into your apartment. Whenever you're here inside your apartment, go ahead and go down to the changing clothes section. Whenever you're here inside the closet, just go ahead and scroll down to your accessories and you're just going to want to change one part of your outfit. So just change the gloves or you can change the shoes. But since I'm just going to go ahead and change the shoes, head to your accessories, scroll down to gloves, and you can just put on any pair of gloves that you guys want. After you do equip the gloves that you guys do like with the, with the outfit, it really doesn't matter. But just go ahead and save this outfit on any slot. After you do save the outfit, you can now back up, back out of the closet. Go ahead and you can now pull up your phone and just leave the job from your phone. When you do load back into a public session with the black joggers, you can go ahead and head to the clothing store so we can go ahead and do the outfit that you guys see in the thumbnail. Once you have made it to the clothing store and you are wearing the black joggers outfit, walk over here to your tops. Scroll down until you find special tops, which will be on slot 22. Go to unlocks, which will be on slot 11, and look for can't touch this t-shirt, which will be on slot 27. So you're just going to want to make sure you guys buy this t-shirt if you guys already don't have it bought, which I believe you guys can unlock this shirt if you don't get shot in a heist or a mission. I think it's one of those two. I just know if you guys don't get shot in one of those heist or missions, you will unlock the shirt. So after you have gotten the shirt, you can then just go in and back out of unlocks. Scroll down until you find t-shirts, which will be right here on slot 23, and you're going to look for the black t-shirt, which will be on slot 28. When you do equip the black t-shirt on slot 28, you can then just back up the top section, and we don't need to worry about the pants since we already do have the black joggers. Just go over here to your accessories, go to cuffs on slot 8, and for your left arm, you're going to equip the gear wrist chains on slot 19. And if you guys scroll down to slot 33, you're going to equip the gear wrist chain for your right arm on slot 33. Now that you have done that, you can back out of cuffs, go to gloves on slot 7, and look for the black woolen gloves on slot 58. When you do equip the black woolen gloves and the cuffs, that will be all for the accessories. Now go over here to the shoes, click on canvas shoes on slot 4, and equip the orange canvas shoes on slot 11. When you have done this, you can now back out of the shoes. If your character is any head accessories, you're going to want to go ahead and just take that off. So your character should look like this. If your character also has a parachute, go ahead and take that off also. So now that we did make the outfit, the next part, I'm going to show you guys on how to do the logo merge. So all you need to do is just head to your apartment. Once you have made it to your apartment, you're then just going to want to go into the changing clothes area. You should be wearing a black t-shirt just like this. Now go into the tops, scroll down until you find special tops. Go ahead and click on special tops, then go to unlocks, click on unlocks, and you're just going to look for the can't touch this t-shirt, which will look like this. Don't click on the t-shirt and just hover over it. 
After you are hovering over the t-shirt, you're then just going to want to go and hit pause. And you can join, if you guys scroll to your friends, you can join one of your friends that are online. If you don't have a friend online, then you can go to online, go to cruise, join somebody in your crew, your friend's cruise, the invitations, or leaderboard. I normally join somebody off the leaderboard and it's somebody in the IGN crew because I know people are always online. So once you do find somebody online, then you're just gonna wanna go ahead and join their profile. Whenever you do join them, you should see that the logo transfers over to the black t-shirt and there you guys go. I just loaded back into a public session and the logo merged over to the black t-shirt just like this. Now we're gonna head back to the normal clothing store so then we can finish the outfit. After you do make it back to the clothing store, go over here to your tops, scroll down the utility vest on slot 53, and look for the peach plate carrier on slot 44. Maybe on slot 43 for you guys, just depending on how many vests you guys do have. But after you do equip the peach plate carrier, you can then just back out of the tops, walk up here to the front counter, hit edit saved outfits, and save this outfit on any slot that you want. After you do save this outfit, back out of edit saved outfits, scroll down through the clothing until you find heist coveralls on slot 13, and scroll down from slot 9 through slot 12 until you do find or equip one of these outfits with the toxic mask. When you do equip one of these outfits with the toxic mask, back out of the front counter, and we're going to head over here to the pier to do the telescope glitch. Whenever you do find a telescope on the pier, all you want to do is the telescope glitch. So just go ahead and run past the telescope like this, here right on the d-pad, you'll see that your character runs in place. Then look source of the telescope just like this, that's how you know you're glitched. Pull up your interaction menu, go to style, and go to your outfits and equip the orange outfit that you did save, or the orange and black outfit that will look like this. When you did equip this outfit, put away your interaction menu, walk away from the telescope, and you will see that the mask does merge over to the outfit just like this. We're just gonna head over here to the gun store now. After you have made it to the gun store, walk over here to the top section, head edit saved outfits and save the outfit on any slot that you want. After you do save this outfit, you can then just back out of the tops and now we're gonna start a mission. So just hit pause, go to online, click on jobs, go to play job, go to Rockstar Created, click on missions, look for the job that's called a Titan of a job and fully start up that mission. When you are in the mission, you will see that the Peach Play Carrier is not on your character anymore. Now that your outfit looks like this, head back over here to the tops. Hit edit saved outfits and save the outfit on whichever slot you did before. After you did save the outfit, back out of the tops once again and just pull up your phone and quit the job from your phone. Now that you are back in a public session, just run back inside the gun store, go over here to your tops, scroll down to vest, which will be on slot 47, and you're gonna equip any vest that looks like this. Don't equip a sweater vest that looks like this. Equip any vest that looks like this. When you do equip a vest, go ahead and back out a vest, go to vest shirts on slot 48, and equip the black band vest shirt on slot 14. When you have equipped the black band vest shirt, we're now gonna do the merge glitch. So if you guys wanna do it's a G thing, I will leave a link in the description so then you can bookmark the job, and then you guys can do that job. But for me, I'm gonna do the heist apartment merge, so I will get back to you when I am at my apartment. When you do make it to your apartment, go into the heist planning board room and walk up here to the heist planning board and out of all the five heist startup, the first one that's called the fleek of job. When you do the first mission in the fleek of job that's called scope out, then the second job it's gonna have you do, it's gonna be called Kuruma. And when you have the Kuruma job available, just launch that mission. Once it does show your heist clothing, you're then just gonna wanna set your heist clothing to player saved outfits. When you have set your heist clothing to player saved outfits, confirm your settings, and then you can invite whoever you want, like a random or a friend. And whenever someone does join, then just launch the mission. When it shows your owned outfits, scroll to the slot to wherever you did save the outfit and your outfit will look like this. When your outfit looks like this, just hit ready to play. Now that you have loaded into the job all the way, pull up your phone and just quit the job from your phone. Okay guys, when you are back in a public session, all you need to do is find a vehicle. It doesn't matter if it's your personal vehicle or a random car on the street, but whenever you do find a car, you're then just gonna wanna go ahead and get inside that car, pull up your interaction menu and register as a secure serve or a motorcycle club. When you've done that, pull up your interaction menu up again, click on secure serve CEO or motorcycle club, then go to management, then go to style, and on your CEO style or MC style, scroll one time to the left, and then one time to the right back to none, and then hop out of the car, and you will see that the t-shirt just like this. And you guys can see it just goes with the whole outfit. And whenever your outfit looks like this, we're now just gonna finish the rest of the outfit by going over here to the clothing store. 
When you are at the clothing store, before we do go into the hats, all you want to do is equip the rebreather on your character. To do this, pull up your interaction menu, go to style, go to your accessories, and on gear, scroll one time to the right. If your logo does disappear, you guys don't have to worry. But if you guys don't have the rebreather, then you will want to go to a gun store. Go to the middle counter. Whenever you go to the middle counter, it's going to show you your earpieces, the night vision goggles, and then at the bottom, it's going to be the rebreather. After you do equip the rebreather on your character, go back over here to the clothing store. Go to hats. Whenever you are scrolling through your hats, you will see that your logo does come back. But go to bulletproof helmets on slot 19 and equip the black bulletproof. When you have equipped the black bulletproof helmet, back out of the hats. Now we're going to equip the parachute. To do that, pull up your interaction menu again. Go to style. Go to parachute. Set your parachute to on and have it set to the black combat shoe bag. If you don't have the black combat shoe bag, then you're going to want to go back to the gun store. Go up to the front counter. Go to parachute and then go to parachute bags and then buy the black combat shoe bag. When you buy the black combat shoe bag, back out of the front counter, pull up your interaction menu, go to style, go to parachute, set it to on, and it should be set to the black combat shoe bag. And yeah, and like I showed you, you should see that the rebreather and bulletproof helmet merge together. Now for the final part, go over here to the glasses, go to glow glasses, and you're gonna equip the orange glow shades. And that's pretty much it. If you guys won the orange glow shades, you guys had to have logged on on a certain day to be able to get these. So as of right now, you guys can't get them anymore unless you guys do the transfer glitch or you do the Beth glitch. I believe you guys can get those on the Beth glitch. But after you have made that outfit, that's pretty much it. If you are wondering what it looks like in the pause menu, here you guys go. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So I hope you guys did enjoy this outfit. Now you can go up here to the front counter, hit edit saved outfits and save the outfit on whichever slot you want. That's pretty much it for this outfit. So I hope you guys do like this orange and black outfit for your male character. Please like and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.